Uh, we're here today with Bobby Orr, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how the hockey, how the game of hockey has changed. A little bit about uh, the Boston Bruins and Bobby's uh, uh, tenure growing up with the uh, team, and and some of the things that helped make them successful and win a couple of Stanley Cups. Bobby, tell us about uh, when you were younger and uh, how you evolved in the sport and what you liked and didn't like about it. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, well, when I was about uh, 14, I um, was drafted into the OHL by Oshawa Generals and um, just played a ton of hockey, loved the game. Hockey was really my schooling and I spent a lot of time on the ice and just trying to get better, really enjoy the game. And uh, when I was about 14, I got drafted by Oshawa Generals, like I said, and um, my parents didn't want me to leave home, so uh, Ren Blair and a couple of the other Oshawa scouts allowed me to stay home during the week and go to school and be with my mom and dad. And then on weekends, I would take the bus or a car or whatever it was, and we'd go off and play, uh, play on the junior hockey level. And Bobby, you played at such a young age. What was it like? Well, playing juniors was tough, especially at 14 years old, 15 years old. A lot of the guys were bigger and stronger. So I worked a lot on my speed. Um, became a very good skater and uh, just worked on my skills day and night. And I knew that would make the difference. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of weight training and off-ice training helped me as well. Uh, but a tremendous time on the ice refining my skating skills. And Bobby... Uh, Tell us what it was like when you joined the Bruins and what the atmosphere was like, the teammates, the camaraderie. Well, that was really the best part. Um, when I joined the Bruins, I was 18 years old and playing professional hockey uh, against the likes of Gordy Howe. Some of the great NHL players it was really a thrill. Um, it was a tremendous, uh, tremendous change from juniors playing in the NHL because everybody was so good. And uh, once again, I just kept working on my speed and my skills and uh, put some pounds, some weight on, uh, which really helped me in the physical part of the game. Uh, but I truly loved it. And the guys were just the biggest part of uh, my life at the time. Foss, Pizzito, Cashman, Teddy Green, Cheevers, McKenzie, um, Bailey, all the old boys. It was really just an absolute blast playing with these guys. And um, we're going to continue to uh, be friends, hopefully. Uh, for a few more years as we're getting on in age here, but uh, it was the night in, night out grind of being with those guys and playing and, and uh, trying to get a cup. Well, we understand, Bobby, that uh, before the Stanley Cup, you also got quite a few awards, uh, the Norris. Tell us about those. Well, those trophies were great, but they weren't that important. What was most important was the team and winning the, the cup. That really brought the most happiness to me. It was a dream come true. And uh, Bobby, what would you tell young players today that are trying to make it into the NHL and some of the things that are going on? Well, right now, you know, it's very competitive and it's become a bit of a year-round sport. So I would say take off the time when you can. Uh, rest, recover, get strong. A lot of it's about strength and uh, don't rush your development. Uh, just make sure you got good coaching, good skills development, and uh, you're logging in a lot of hours on the ice and practice and, of course, being in the gym. Those be really two of the most important things. And uh, beyond that, just have fun. Just show your character out there and be a team player and uh, support your teammates no matter what level they are and enjoy the game. And uh, it'll love you back. Well, thank you, Bobby. We appreciate today. It's been uh, great chatting with you, and uh, enjoy the pond hockey out there. Yeah, I will. I will. Take care.